Well, we're starting this one in Gladstone. Yep. We've uh, we've just been to the information centre, picked up a couple little bits, and well, we've got a couple little things that we want to see around Gladstone here. A um, couple of lookouts, a couple of different walks, and a little. What is it? It's not a swim area. It's a water park. Water park on the foreshore, and just generally look around Gladstone because it's sort of surprised us a bit. We thought it was going to be a bit touristy but it seems like it's very mining orientated a lot of coal a lot of alumina aluminium i think but anyway we'll get on with this video we'll um jump back in the air cons. it's still 30 degrees it's bearable but it's still a bit hot yeah the wind's nice yep and uh we'll just check out gladstone have a little look around So we've got the first stop is the William Golding Memorial Lookout. I believe this is. I actually don't believe that's what it is. I'm gonna to have to check what it is. So it's actually Auckland Street. Auckland Street Lookout, is it? Yeah. With the William Golding Memorial Lookout just over here. But a beautiful lookout. This place has got their sprinklers on and it's very windy and it's so nice. <laughs> Do you, can you feel it? It's like a fine mist, really nice mist. So over this side you've got, I wouldn't say it's a beautiful view, but it's a different one. And the edge of that little precinct down there, which we'll try and get down to. So you got this little thing, which has got all the little islands on it, and their names. So it is a bit of a pain that this weather's like this. Um, seems to be the, what is it, the remnants of the cyclone, or is it? I think it is. Season, it? Yeah, wet season, remnants of the cyclone. But it's a bit of a pain. Can't get the drone up to get some aerial footage, but this is going to do us. It's good enough. Beautiful view. I don't know about out there. It's probably not that beautiful, the coal and that one. But a really nice precinct down here, which we're going to take a walk down there and have a little look. There's a waterfall down there as well, isn't it? Yeah, the waterfall's up far, isn't it? Yep. Right, we'll get down there, but... This would be an incredible view without the wind. Just a bit of a pain. So 111 steps down to the parkland. Going to get your steps in today. <laughs> yeah, no, nah. I'm not into that. By the looks of it, the it starts just there, the 111 steps, walks along here and down to the right there. But they've got it all closed off. They're doing some sort of works on the side of the road and on the other side, on the park side as well. So I don't know what they're doing, but looks like we can't get down. So we're going to have to, we'll have to drive down, won't we? Yeah. <laughs> and walk around down. Let's go. So we're down the bottom of the hill at East Shores Precinct, which is just down there. And they've got these nice big caravan parking spots, or I guess you could launch your teeny down there somewhere and park up with the boat trailer, but they're using it for the caravan. 
and apparently it's a really good walk so be excited for this one So we're here. Oh, they got all sorts of stuff, haven't they? Water play park, cinema, museum, cafe. We'll go there and get a cuppa. Yes. Boot camp. Oh, look, it's high and dry. So HMAS Gladstone 2, this one here behind us, was commissioned in 1984 and based in Cairns. And decommissioned in 2007, gifted on the same day to the Gladstone Maritime, Maritime History Museum. Covered 618,000 nautical miles for 22 years. It still seems in really good shape, unless it's been refurbished or something, but... It's a good looking bug. And this must be the, oh there it is there, outdoor cinema. That's really good. So I think a lot of mining companies in WA, or mines, mining towns, sorry, in WA can learn a lot here from Gladstone. This is really well done, this park, or well, precinct. It's bloody huge, you got a cafe, you got a cinema, you got all that area along the front for fishing, you got the water park, You've got an idiot down here doing laps. I don't know what she's doing. <laughs> but they've just got loads. They've done it so well. It's so well looked after as well. And yeah, like I say, compared to a lot of other mining towns in WA, this place is incredible. It's no real information, but it's a conveyor belt. I have to find out some information here, but it's a conveyor belt going down underground. And it's all lit up. So Auckland Point, where we are now, was home to the Cal site. I think I'm saying it right, calcite conveyors and hopper systems, which that being the conveyor, the original conveyor, and those being conveyors as well. I think that's right.
So I believe that's right. This was the original cowside conveyor and hopper site. It's there being a conveyor there. Uh, I'm guessing they're the hoppers. There's not too much information around. There's only that one little board there, unless I'm missing things. But it's good how they've, I guess they've refurbished them and made them look really nice. How was that? No more of that in February. I know. I shouldn't even be doing it now. <laughs> Every time. What have you done? You parked there in your seat isn't. Mine's in the side. Every time. So having leather seats isn't really the best for uh, travelling, parking anywhere, unless it's in the shade because... And you seem to always be in the shade. <laughs> How does that work? So Sophie gets a burnt ass every time she sits down. But that was... I enjoyed that. That's a really good walk there and really beautiful parks. I mean they've got barbecues everywhere, they've got Playgrounds everywhere, they got grassed areas, every, they just got everything everywhere. Really good little spot, and it's sort of, haven't really seen it that often at many other places, I mean, apart from, I mean, big cities, small cities, but it's just a good, good area for such a small town. Mm. And like I said, a lot of other mining towns, like I'm guessing that sort of precinct is funded by the ports, the mining, what have you around here but there's a lot of other little mining towns that could really do the same but enough of my thoughts we'll um, get going head off to the next one next little spot let's do it right hey this is our i guess second third stop next stop so next stop and it is i've already forgotten what it is alumina lookout queensland alumina lookout which if you haven't caught our episodes on when we're in Weeper. We did the Weeper Town and Mining Tour. A lot of that, well most of it I'm pretty sure, gets sent down this way and processed here. So there you go. Aluminium supply chain. From Weeper it's sent around Cape York and 2,000 kilometers down to QAL, which is here. Which is not a very pleasing sight to look at. All that smoke, all that dust and... What do you reckon? I just, uh, what is going on over there? <laughs> <laughs> it's beyond me. Yeah, it looks like a bit of a mess, but... Does its job. And if you look at here, QAL, Queensland Alumina Limited, I believe it is, is one of the world's largest alumina refineries, producing around 4 million tonnes a year. So aluminium is the third most abundant element in the Earth's crust after oxygen and silicon. Which aluminium comes from bauxite, which we learnt from Hardis. Up in Weeper, when we were living there, we did the Hard uh, uh, Weeper Town and Mining Tour, which is up here or up here somewhere you can check that out uh, bloody legend hardest he taught us all about bauxite aluminium just everything in between that but we're down here now checking out refinery which is bloody incredible to know that 
we were in Weeper standing on all that bauxite and this is where some of it ends up, most of it ends up. And then on it goes from here. So if all the cans that have been recycled were placed end to end, they could stretch to the moon and back over 300 times. Which is pretty incredible when you look at every minute of every day, an average of more than 100,000 aluminium cans are recycled. So that's pretty incredible. Which this, I guess little lookout is bloody incredible. They've done it really well. They've done the whole sort of Gladstone area really well. They've turned it from a mining town into, well, it's still a mining town, but it's... One that they show off their mining town, I guess. They've got lookouts everywhere, they explain everything. Loads of details, loads of information. They've done really well here. So last little stop is Barney Point Park, which is not too far from uh, the last little stop we had, but it's just windy again and beautiful parked areas. I can't get over how everything's so clean and well looked after. But a really great little spot this one. Barbies, tables, playgrounds, beautiful beach, stinging it down the end there. Really nice. Right, hey, that's gonna do us in Gladstone. Um, I'm really impressed with that, Gladstone. Everything's really tidy and nice. The only thing letting it down is the wind, which is is what it is. But for a mining town, they've really done it really nice. So we're going to head out of here, try and find a free camp. Yeah. See how we go, I guess. There's not too much on wiki camps, but there'll be a gravel pit somewhere. See what we can find. Let's go. So diesel in February. That's going to be uh, a tough one, really. Hopefully we can uh, only spend, say, 500 bucks? Max. Maximum. That was 190, say 200 bucks just to fill it up. 150 litres, or 100 and... 126 litres, 200 bucks. So it's going to be tough, February. If we can fill up twice, that's 400 bucks. I'm hoping we can stick to that. But I guess we'll have to play it by ear, won't we? Won't be moving around that much in February. <laughs> uh, also, big shout out to Tim and Trish. Yeah. Who bumped into us in the streets so there. Caught us by surprise, bloody legends. Yeah, we're starting to get a lot more of that. Um, People recognizing us, which yeah, is. Yeah, so if you do see us, do say hello. It's nice yeah. to. Um, and shout out that you want a sticker because we'll give you a sticker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's nice to meet you all and know what you're up to and your plans and if you're travelling or yeah. Yeah. So. Or little places that you know around. Yeah. Righto, let's get out of here. Find ourselves a free camp. Well, this is going to be our spot for the night. This is Boyne River, and it's not a bad little spot. Apart from it's just started raining, just as I started talking. We'll get this awning out quick, and then I'll show a bit more of where we are. So, as I was saying, this is the Boyne River, I guess, little free camp, but highway's just up the top there, and there's a little pull-off. Boyne River, for oh, overnight camp spot I think is 20 hours maximum and we spotted just a little bit off on the wiki camps app this little free camp which is down a bit of a dirt road bit of a bumpy lumpy road but gets us to this which is bloody beautiful we're the only ones here as well see if we can get the fire cranked up tonight but also as we pulled up we're seeing a load of fish jump don't know what they are got to do a bit of research and I don't know is it worth chucking a the little opera house net in here. Can't hurt, I guess, but. So we'll see how we go. If it's any good tonight, we'll probably stay another night tomorrow night. But that there is us. How good's that? A ripper spot. So just scrounging up some firewood, managed to find this. 
don't know if you can see that. It's a, um, it's out of an opera house net. It's a little bait holder. So I'm guessing I won't be the only one that's tried it. There's fish jumping down there again. So I'm gonna get some more firewood up. Probably get that started and then try and do a bit of research on this river. So far, happy days. This is a bloody great spot. Went around the corner there, tucked the little throw net out and got, I don't know, six or seven little potty mullet. Where are they? In there somewhere. But uh, there's a fair amount of fish jumping around here. Don't know what they are. So I'm just gonna, I guess, get a bit of mullet out there and see what happens. Live bait it. But we're gonna chuck this out as well. Why not? They get them here, apparently. Red claw. So we'll see what happens. I'm not gonna try potato tonight because I haven't really had that much luck with them like that last couple of times. And we've had this little tin of I don't know, what is it, white meat, tuna and crab cat food sitting in the fridge for ages, which I've been meaning to try out. So I'm just gonna poke a couple of holes in it, chuck it in there and see if we can find a nice little spot for it. It doesn't look like there's too much sort of rocky areas. But I'll see what I can find and we'll just chuck it in. Pick it up in the morning, see what happens. How good is this? Oh, the breeze. Feel the breeze. So a beautiful night's sleep. Uh, we even slept in, didn't we? It's about nine-ish, which is bloody great. And uh, just listening all night to the fish jumping out here which sort of annoyed me a bit because didn't catch any fish. But we're sitting out here having a cuppa now and just watching the fish jump everywhere. Mullet everywhere. Uh, I don't know what's chasing them, but might be worth just chucking a line in, see what happens. Leave it in there for a bit. But we've decided we're not gonna move today, are we? Stay here the whole day. We'll try and edit some videos, try and- um, Get stuff done. Yeah, get a bit of stuff done. But I think another thing is we'll go for a walk and check out a little crab pot soon. Our opera house net, which is right up far at the bank there. It's the only real area that I could find some sort of logs or rocks or anything. And you can swim here. So, I don't know, you going for a swim? I actually just Googled it because I wasn't <laughs> like, I wasn't completely like sure oh. on it. But yeah, apparently it's a good swimming spot. Well, well, we'll be in for a swim later with the fish. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> but anywho, it's just going to be a relaxing day for us. Chilling out, listening to the fish jump. And the cooker bars. We've got something. We've got a crab. Look at that. Bit of bycatch from chasing red claw. Oh, look what it's done to that tin there. Smashed it. So we believe it's a little mud crab. Which is pretty cool. Caught our first mud crab. <laughs> but it's got to be 15 centimetres across the carapace. Carapace? Carapace? I don't know, but... Like Whatever that word is. 15 centimetres ain't. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's going to be 15 centimetres, so... We'll give it a quick measure up. It's not going to make it, I guess we'll... Chuck it back in, but still, we've got a mud crab. Not that we're aiming for it, but we got one. <laughs> Do you know what you're doing? No idea. Be careful. Aha! We got it. Can't say, but I'm a little bit scared here. <laughs> Definitely not size. One twenty. Spewing. Oh. It's gonna have to go back. So the little thing's undersized. We're gonna have to get rid of her. But we'll get her back in the water. Is it a he or a she? You can tell somehow. 
by the underside. I think that looks like a he, but we'll get it back in here. Over the moon there, we got our, what, our first mud crab, undersized is what it is. Would have been better to have one we could have eaten, but saying that, we're not really crab people. We've never really had a good cooked crab, so I guess we'll play it by ear. Next time we get a crab, we'll try and keep it. We'll try and get one that's size as well, because it's a pain that that one was just undersized. trying something different drumsticks that we've butterflied would you say yep. I don't know we've seen this recipe on Facebook so we thought we'll do it but it's essentially butterfly chicken so you get more space to put a bit more rub on so we'll see how it goes oh, that's loads it's all right social clean up after Something like that, we'll flip it, do the other side, and then we'll whack it straight on the Weber. What do you reckon? So good. <laughs> well, we're gonna finish this video here, in uh, wherever we are. Nice little free camp that we got, which is bloody incredible. But I hope you enjoyed this episode of, where did we go? Gladstone. Gladstone, Gladstone that's where we went. Bloody good time in there. Really surprised at how well, I guess, the made the town look being a mining town but we'll finish it here and pick it up next episode we're heading into agnes waters and a dam. yeah and a dam there's a dam at the back here but you'll see that in the next episode but thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one cheers Thank for watching you. oh and subscribe down below there somewhere <laughs> oh wow look at that oh yeah Pretty out there, aluminum, aluminium. Spot put on by Port Douglas here. We're not in Port Douglas, are we? Where are we? Crab people, are we? Nah, you are a crab, but. Yeah, yeah nice. What are you doing, Triplin? Go away. <laughs>